بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين. This is another episode of a radiology snapshot regarding Lemia syndrome. Lemia syndrome, also known as pharyngeal septicemia, and it is refers to thrombophilibitis of the internal jugular vein with distance and with distant anaerobic uh, septicemia in the setting of initial bacterial or pharyngeal infection such as pharyngitis, tonsillitis, and in the lateral pharyngeal spaces of the neck with or without peritonsillar or retropharyngeal abscess. Diagnosis is made on the clinical and microbiological and radiological manifestation. Lemire syndrome typically developed four to five days following episode of acute pharyngitis and patient typically present and well with dry trismus and pain behind the ankle of the jaw. Neck swelling may be evident. Bacteremia and distal infective thromboembolism commonly in the lung causing pulmonary septic emboli the most common and lung abscess and embryema and can be go to central nervous system causing a dual venous sinus thrombosis in the 20% and joint infection septic arthritis and liver abscess is rare. Differential diagnosis include isolated oropharyngeal infection isolated uh, jugular vein thrombosis, cervical lymphadenitis, pneumonia, and metastatic disease. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk.